the accusations are mounting against Alabama Governor Robert Bentley. I have done nothing illegal. On Friday, the embattled governor once again denied using state resources to cover up his alleged affair with former top aide Rebecca Mason. If the people want to know if I misuse state resources, the answer is simply no, I have not. But a newly released report issued by Alabama's Judiciary Committee says otherwise, accusing the two-term governor of hampering the nearly year-long investigation. The report recommends state lawmakers consider the governor's non-cooperation as, quote, independent ground for impeachment. Friday's findings also allege Bentley directed police to track down provocative recordings between himself and Mason. If we're going to do what we did the other day, we're going to have to start the other day. Even instructed officers to end the extramarital relationship for him. The report also clears Spencer Collier of any wrongdoing associated with the Bentley accusations. He's the former head of the Alabama law enforcement agency who was fired and accused by Bentley of misusing state funds. Collier was reportedly forced out once he publicly confirmed the governor's inappropriate relationship. <laughs> Bentley and his defense team insist upcoming impeachment hearings were scheduled without affording him due process. This lawmaker calls that claim frivolous. The Judiciary Committee that has been handling the articles of impeachment have given him ample opportunity to, to share his side of the story. Ed Henry, the Alabama representative leading efforts to impeach the governor, wants the hearings to happen soon. I'm saddened that it's taken us a year to get to this point. Just days before the new report, Alabama's Ethics Commission ruled their governor may have violated the law. A district attorney will decide if there's a criminal case to prosecute. I, Robert Bentley. As for lawmakers, they'll decide if Bentley remains at the state's helm or if he becomes Alabama's first governor to be impeached. Bolo Sandoval, CNN, Atlanta.